uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel, you big grubs. Uh, today's video is proudly sponsored by PUBG Mobile, and it's about ADS. When to ADS, when to hip fire, all points in between. I'm going to break it down to you, give you a golden rule that will help you get things done and also talk to you about all the tiny little bits and pieces that you have to take into account. Like when you do that, when you hip fire and when you do this, when you ADS. Now, the real fact of the matter is that there are so many different things that go on in each gunfight that make it special and unique. Not the least of which is the range the target's at, but also the kind of weapon you're holding in your hand. Um, so many people, for instance, running a bolt action sniper rifle, don't really need to know about when to ADS. It's pretty much every single time. And the bigger the scope, the harder that is, the closer a target is. But other guns in particular, say like a SMG versus an AR, they become very, very different beasts when hip fired versus ADS. And we're going to go all the way down the rabbit hole on all these weapons. So sit tight, let's get into it. Now, one of the big things that you have to understand is that the golden rule I'm talking about here is when should you ADS? Whenever you possibly can. Uh, and that means that you've got to break down the positives and the negatives of the situation. When you ADS, you're more accurate. That's all there is to it. Your accuracy goes through the roof, but your mobility is severely limited. And there is a trade-off with both those things. Like I did an ADS there and I got away with it and I was just as elusive as possible. And a lot of people, for instance, hate the UMP. And I don't really use it a lot because it has some big shortcomings. But I'm going to show you a quick bit of work on the range here. This is a barrel M762 probably my favorite AR world drop. I just love using it. Yet when I ADS, when I don't ADS with that, when I just hip fire at 15 meters, look at the spread on that target. It's disgusting. Look at the UMP when I hip fire at 15 meters. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Watch this. So straight away, you realize that one of these guns is absolutely brilliant at hip firing. Look at the spread. Absolutely nuts. And the other gun is really terrible at hip firing. And then you've got to take into account a couple of other things. When you are using a DMR, there is actually a movement penalty when you're using an LMG or a DMR or a bolt action sniper rifle versus an SMG, which doesn't suffer the movement penalty that these weapons suffer. So your mobility, while it's a tiny movement penalty, is, is a negative, okay? Then you have other things. For instance, if you're going to do ADS and you're using a Mark 14, you want to make sure that you're ADSing before you push down on the trigger because it's got such a short clip and it fires so fast that if you go into your ADS pre-firing, quite often you run out of ammunition before you actually get on target because probably the least accurate moment in the game is when you're switching from hip fire to ADS and the targets actually going into the scope. That's when you're really wasting rounds. You want to make sure that you really are zoomed right down it before you let it rip. And if you're using a shotgun like this, there is no benefit to ADSing. You don't really get a better uh, grouping on your, unlike a you know, unlike a, an AR or an SMG, when you press the trigger, it doesn't matter if you're ads in or not, you're getting the same spread on your shells. There's no real benefit to it. So, Bushka, you still haven't told me when to ADS and when not to ADS. That's right, I haven't. I've said <laughs> that you should ADS when you can, but it also depends on your play style. For instance, I like to do a little thing where I will pre-fire a corner while leaning in FPP, but not ADS because this is a very easy way to get a spray and maybe hit a target once, get an advantage in hit points, and then take a gun that's a really good hit point trading gun, like an M762, and ram it down their throats. And then switch between ADS and not ADS. Let's look at that one more time, that engagement. Before we do though, I need to show you something. One of the reasons I do this is if you see when you're in FPP especially, you peek around a corner, it's very easy to quickly hip fire and pull back. It makes you a very difficult target to hit. But when you zoom and peek around a corner, you've got to adjust up. Part of that is because it's hard to know where the target is exactly. But the other part is the offset when you zoom. 
That is not the same place. You can see, you move slightly to the left and down when you zoom in, as opposed to when you are hip firing. So let's have a look at that again. This is why I run through this. This is an excellent example where I'm just gonna peek and I'm gonna hip fire very quickly because it's very easy to track the target immediately and then pull back before they get a chance to return fire. So it's almost like a very low risk, very low reward effort. But the reward is actually quite high because I know that now he's taken a shot. He's probably lost 25, 30 health. And I'm gonna zoom here on the way down. Then as soon as I hit the ground, I'm going to un-ADS and use my movement speed. So I ads when I could. I ads when I could. That's the secret right there, that little engagement. And it is so easy once you get used to this, realizing that the negatives on these things are absolutely massive. Like, look at this, I'll show you this again. Why bother ADSing here? He's only five meters away, I'm tracking him. I, I pre-fire the corner before he even gets there. Like, ADSing here would be detrimental, make it harder for him to track, it'd be darts, bat, whatever. Let's talk about distance. The tyranny of distance. At 50 meters, that target there is moving like two to two meters left and right. Okay, really, really easy to track. The bigger the scope, the easier that is. At three meters with a 3X, that's actually quite hard to track. So if you're running a 3X, you don't ADX in really close quarters. There are exceptions to this as always. When do you ADS? When you can. Like I'm gonna use a car 98K here and a 4X, and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things to do, which is, when people are trapped in a corridor, and this is a video I've I've made before, like talking about getting stuck in alleyways where you don't have an exit point, then you can afford to use bigger scopes because they literally can't get away from them. Uh, and this guy's going to push us. I'm going to get Ouija up. We kill a couple of bots in the process. And then he gets to the middle of the corridor at mill base and he's behind a box. If I know where he is and I know he's got to come out from that position, and I only have to hit him once, then I can set it up and the shot's really easy to make. He hits me for 10, I hit him for like 30 or 40. And it's an easy push now, and I'm just gonna spam it and hit fire. And I don't need to ADS that. Corridor fights like this give you perfect setups to use sniper rifles that a lot of people don't use. Like it's very, very easy to hit targets like this and it's a much lower risk proposition because you don't have to stay on target. If you've got a massive front loaded damage weapon, why not do something like that to it? Now this is important. This is a huge difference between FPP and TPP and ADSing. You should be ADSing a lot more in the close to early mid range stages of a gunfight when you are playing TPP versus FPP. And the reasoning is very obvious. We showed you before how it's hard when you can't see where the target is in FPP, especially with the offset between the scope and the hip fire reticle to actually zoom out and just lean and get the target perfectly. Whereas in TPP, that is an absolute piece of cake. I, I still maintain TPP is a much easier method of gameplay than FPP and it's why it's so popular. But be that as it may, you can see here, if I know where the target is, my reticle is really easy to line up on the peak. And then, I mean, you can see, I can see where everything is happening here. So aiming is so much easier and you can actually zoom in and be more, you know, far more effective with your ADS when you're peaking at that range than you can if you're in FPP. In FPP, it takes a moment to snap. It's also one of the reasons why the M416 and the Scarrel and these kind of weapons are so popular and so effective in the game. For instance, the UMP is a brilliant gun because of its low profile recoil in terms of hip firing. But an M416 is kind of okay with that, but also ridiculously good at ADSing because its shell velocity is so quick and its recoil is so light that it can just hit everything it points at. It is literally the laser beam AR. And this is just brutally effective when coupled with a gun that's really good in the close. Like you can see in this loadout, I'm running an Uzi and a scar -L. And the scar -L is covering off on everything from like 30 meters and out. And the Uzi is covering everything in close, especially the hip firing. 
coupling these things up means that with some guns, you can run a loadout where you're happy to hip fire everything with an Uzi, uh, and then you're happy to ADS everything with a Scar L. And if you also couple this in with like your situation, I'm on a hot drop here and I've got an AKM. I'm very happy to hip fire this thing up close and personal because the people that are attacking me right now have probably not got any gear, okay? And that means that an AKM, a 7.62 round, will just brutalize them, absolutely brutalize them. Uh, and likewise, people sleep on the UMP. I mean, I don't think it's a great gun, but there are things where it is outstanding. Like on an early game hot drop, if you pick up a UMP and you've got targets in front of you, it doesn't really need anything to make it successful. Doesn't need the perfect grips or equipment or anything like that. You can pick it up and point it and it's gonna pretty much hit every single thing that it's pointed at when in a decent close range. Obviously, at range, it's a joke, and I'm just like, you stay alone. You're all, you're all right on your own. You're fine, buddy. Too far away. Know your limitations. Not interested. That's a bot. Again, not following you around. Just going to leave you alone. Let's find the real people and finish them off. That's a lot better. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you an idea on how you want to basically alter your gameplay to become more of an ADS or more of a hip fire player, depending on the situation and how you can understand that when you hit fire is whenever you can, when the pros outweigh the cons, when it's a positive outcome and the most likely result is a win, is when you're gonna hit fire. Please like the video, please share the video, please look after yourself, eat your veg, walk the dog, and be nice to your mum, and as always, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.